guys, how we doing? My name is Joey Guzzo, head strength coach here at Stan State. Again, with uh, Chef Caleb Cisco, and we're going to just talk about maybe different types of salad dressing other than uh, ranch or AKA Southern ketchup that you can put on your salads. <laughs> Hello Warriors, uh, it's me again, Chef Caleb Sisko. I'm here to show you how to make a quick and easy honey lime vinaigrette. Uh, just a few ingredients, very inexpensive, and it's all about uh, chopping and whisking. Your vinaigrette will be ready in just minutes. So first I like to start off with just a little bit of red onion. I'll go to a very small dice, again using the bear claw method. So you basically want to mince up your red onion so you don't just get really big bites of red onion. So very little red onion is needed. And get it as small as you can. So I'll take about maybe a tablespoon of the red onion, cut it nice and small, and then I'll just rock my blade back and forth, keeping my fingers out of the way. One hand on the spine of the knife, the other grasp between thumb and finger and just rock it back and forth over the red onion. And what you're doing is you're mincing the onion to get it as small and as fine as you possibly can. Okay, so once you get it minced, you're going to take that, put it in your bowl that you're gonna be using to whisk your vinaigrette in for your final product. Then you wanna take some uh, parsley. Now. Everything on an herb is, is edible. Uh, where you get most of your flavor, uh, believe it or not, is in the stem itself. So I like to use the whole thing, leaf, stem, all. So what I'll do is I'll take it, I'll just kind of curl it up in a ball, so you're just getting the job done that much quicker, okay? So using the rocking uh, motion and keeping the bear claw, keeping your fingertips underneath your knuckles, keeping it away from the knife blade, you just want to go through it, get it where it's just about cut, and then again, taking the back of your hand, put it on the spine of the blade in a rocking motion. You're just going to kind of mince this up also. And herbs bring out a really, a really fresh taste to just about anything that you're making. It goes for a, a garnish on, a, on an entree for dinner, lunch, anything like that. It just brings out a really fresh taste. This adds a little zing to your meal, okay? So once we get that mixed, uh, minced up, so I'm gonna take it, put it in your bowl, and then I take a little bit of green onion, again, about a tablespoon, get it chopped, bear claw method again, then you wanna take it, again, rock it back and forth, your hand on the spine of the knife, and just kinda rocking through it, get it nice and chopped up. Take it, once that's minced, put it in your bowl. Then lime. So to get uh, the juice out of your lime the best, you wanna take your lime first and kinda of roll it around on your cutting board. You're breaking up all the little nodes in your citrus that way, and it's going to uh, juice a lot easier for you so you don't have to squeeze so hard. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to all three of them. And you wanna take it and cut it in half. Again, bear claw, boom, directly in half. Bear claw, half, bear claw, half. Take them both, and you just wanna squeeze and kinda of turn at the same time. Squeeze and turn. Again, this is a honey lime vinaigrette, so the limier, the better. Again, squeezing and twisting, okay? You guys are really gonna get the juice out of it that way. I'm gonna do all three limes. Okay, now in a vinaigrette, you need something called an emulsifier. Emulsifier is usually mustard. Mustard is going to bind your liquid and your oils together. That's how you get your vinaigrette. Otherwise, it's just separated. Your liquid will be at the bottom and your oil will be at the top. So by adding just a teaspoon to a tablespoon of mustard, it emulsifies it and 
uh, 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 makes it all uniform, okay? So, just use my knife, and I use about, it's about a tablespoon, okay? And then I want to use about, I use about three tablespoons of honey, okay? One, two, three. And the sweetness of the honey really, really goes well with that acidy lime taste. And then as, so you wanna kinda of mix this all together first before you start adding your oil. By using just a common whisk, some type of bowl, just wanna add, say add a half a cup to start out with. And you just want to whisk it, okay? Kind of vigorously to, to begin with. You want everything to come together, and that's using the mustard we use for the emulsifier to bring everything together. And then take the other half cup. See, it should have a full cup of olive oil in there. Just want to whisk until you see everything come together. And that is a quick, easy, very tasty, inexpensive vinaigrette to make. And we'll go ahead and pour it on our salad. And usually it takes very little. So again, maybe, maybe two ounces or so. Then once you get it on your salad, just take your fork, mix it around, and there you go. Thank you. at the uh, grocery store, if they're gonna stick to the, uh, the creamier ones, they should probably either look in the middle or they should look in the refrigerated section. Where do you think is the best way to find if they're gonna stick um, to those? If, if they want a, a, a nice quality, uh, fat-free, um, would probably be in the refrigerated section next to the leafy greens. That's where they're gonna find their best uh, uh, dressings. Great. There. Thank you, Chef. Thanks, Chef.